All right, Parkinson's disease is the second most common neurodegenerative disease behind Alzheimer's. It actually affects about 10 million people worldwide. Yukon Health has an exciting event coming up that will benefit people with the disease. Melissa Cole has the details. Parkinson's disease tends to affect uh, mobility and it can impact quality of life. Uh, typically, we diagnose Parkinson's disease by a combination of tremors, stiffness, and slow movements, but it can also affect other areas of the patient. Dr. Bernardo Rodriguez is the director of the Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorders Clinic at UConn Health. He says while there is currently no cure, there are ways to manage this disease. So UConn is a very unique center for Parkinson's disease because it's a very academic center. So we integrate teaching, research, and patient care. We have found that uh, physical activity is uh, uh, able to slow down Parkinson's disease and improve care. Believe it or not, Tai Chi can be very beneficial. In general, we need to be able to reach the proper positions for balance and control. Tai Chi allows you to get to those positions. Uh, it also strengthens the hip musculature, which is usually very, very impacted due to Parkinson's disease. Tom Atwood of Better Balance Physical Therapy teaches Tai Chi to people with Parkinson's. Most people with Parkinson's have a motor problem. They are a dollar sh short and a day late with movement, but also they don't understand that they have a sensory problem. The point is that they think they're in the right place, but they're not. So the thing that about Tai Chi is you can't do it unless you're in the right place. So if you get into the right place, you're sort of doing motor programming again to get that proper position. And getting the proper position will keep you safe and, and therefore reduce your fall risk. Tom will be part of Yukon Health's first annual Parkinson's Symposium focused on wellness. Dr. Chanduri Selvadurai, Assistant Professor of Neurology, says patients and their caregivers are welcome, free of charge. We're going to have a Tai Chi expert speak and do a live presentation and a demo. We're going to have a little meditation workshop, art therapy, as well as um, a writing workshop because um, journaling has been shown to reduce stress and anxiety. The goal is to teach all who attend some activities to do at home because Parkinson's is much more than medication. It's all about improving the quality of life. It's really taking the time to do these things that bring um, just motivation in the day, something to look forward to. Something we also see in Parkinson's is um, apathy, which is also you know, low, poor motivation. And this happens because dopamine, the chemical that we lose in Parkinson's, will um, cause this. Uh, it causes just well, depression and decreased motivation. The symposium is open to all who have Parkinson's, not just patients who are part of Yukon Health. Doctors here hope people will walk away with some new tools to use in everyday life. So you're hoping for a big turnout and that this could become an annual thing? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, we hope so. Um, and April, as it, hopefully we'll keep it in April for Parkinson's Disease Awareness Month. As for the future of understanding this disease, Dr. Rodriguez says researchers continue to get closer. I think that there is uh, so many new technologies at the gene level and I think that's basically where we're going with this. I think we're finding smaller and smaller biomarkers, earlier and earlier detection. So uh, we're kind of coming closer and closer to the thing that causes the Parkinson's disease. All right, to learn more, just visit health.yukon.edu.